Story time. The Prophet Wasallam and his companion together. A stressful moment. Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, he said, I was with the Prophet Wasallam in the cave. When I raised my head, I saw the feet of the people. I said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, if they look down, they will surely see us. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Uskut, Ya Abu Bakr. Ithnan, Allahu Thalithuhuma. Be quiet, Abu Bakr. There's two, the third of them is Allah. Words impact attitude. One day the Prophet wasallam, he entered the masjid. He saw a man from the Ansar sitting there. His name was Abu Umama. He said, what's the matter with you? Why am I finding you here in the masjid? When it's not time for prayer. He said, I'm entangled in worry and debt. The Prophet wasallam, he said, Shall I teach you a few words that when you say them, Allah will remove your worries and settle your debts? Of course, he said, why not, O Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam. He said to him, so in the morning and in the evening, you are to say the following. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-hammi wal-hazan, wa a'udhu bika min al-ajzi wal-kasal, wa a'udhu bika min al-jubni wal-bukhli, wa a'udhu bika min ghalabat al-dayni wa qahra al-rijal. Oh Allah, I seek refuge. I seek refuge in thee from worry and grief. I seek refuge in thee from incapacity and laziness. I seek refuge in thee from cowardice and miserliness. And I seek refuge in thee from being overcome by debt and being subjugated by man. This companion Abu Umam, he said, when I began, to say those words in the morning and in the evening. Believe it or not, but Allah subhanahu removed my worries and settled my debts. Attitude impacts performance. Brothers and sisters, an optimistic attitude is required to be your best you. When faced with trouble and turmoil, maintaining a hopeful outlook can be the difference between success and failure. Sometimes, of course, easier said than done to be positive. Sometimes we let our worries get the best of us. We become overwhelmed with doubt and that leads us to losing hope. There's no way out. There's no escape. That's often the result of a very negative and toxic internal dialogue that we have with ourselves. We allow our feelings to turn into words. We let those feelings fester long enough that they take shape and can be expressed in the form of pessimism. And we end up convincing ourselves that what is within our grasp is miles away. We end up convincing ourselves that it cannot be done. We say things like, it's too hard. That's too much. That's impossible. What do you expect of me? With our own words, we talk ourselves down. 
We negotiate ourselves to failure. With our own words, we set ourselves up to lose. Instead of pumping ourselves up with positive thoughts and positive speech. Back to story time. Fleeing for their lives, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companion, they jumped into a hole trying to evade their would-be assassins. A little cave. They jumped in it. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in that cave was filled with trust. Trust in Allah. He was filled with confidence and with hope. His closest and most faithful companion, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, his closest and most faithful companion in a very stressful moment, he wavered. He let his negative fears slip out. If they look down, they will see us. We're moments from being caught. It's up, it's over. The assassins, those after him, they wanted blood. The Prophet ﷺ silenced him immediately. Because words impact attitude. The Prophet ﷺ reinforced him with words of positivity. He secured him with words of faith. Two, the third, is Allah. How would you worry? How can you doubt? They arrived in Medina safely. They were delivered without harm. Abu Umama, down and out, sequestered in the masjid, Overwhelmed with feelings of loss, stress, anxiety, overcome by debt, feelings of helplessness begin to settle in. He let his worries get the best of him. He had all but given up. He had all but quit living his life. The Prophet وسلم, came in, identified the problem, and quickly adjusted his attitude. Quickly made an attitude adjustment with words of prayer and positivity. And with those words, he was able to pull himself out of his slump, regain hope, and overcome his challenges. That prayer prescribed by the Prophet ﷺ to be said in the morning and at night. Do you think that simply by saying it, all his problems vanished and were solved? Or do you think that he went through the process of changing his negative attitude with those positive words, with those words of prayer, those words of reliance, he was able to pull himself out and to begin to work towards solving his problems. Brothers and sisters, it was narrated by Imam Ahmed, as well as Imam al-Bukhari wa Muslim, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was heard to have said, there are no evil signs. So we look for an omen, right? Sometimes we've gotten into this bad luck, that's a bad omen. The Arab of Quraysh, they used to do this. If they had to make a decision for travel, they would pick the first bird and throw it in the air. And if it went right, we're traveling. If it went left, that's a bad omen. We're not moving. Danger ahead. The Prophet ﷺ, he said, there are no evil signs. The best signs, however, are favorable ones. Favorable signs. The companions, they said, well, what's a favorable sign? O Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, a good word 
that one of you hears and takes as a good sign. Words of optimism and positivity. Positive words, my dear brothers and sisters, they are powerful. They help shape optimistic attitudes and ward off hopelessness and defeat. Sometimes we are our worst enemies. We ourselves are our worst enemies. We can't, we don't deserve, we're no good. And in doing that, we can blame no one but ourselves. Ibn Abbas said that the difference between optimism and pessimism, being positive or being negative, is that optimism, positivity, is the way to adopting a positive opinion of Allah. When you are positive, you will develop, develop a positive view of your Lord and Creator. Whereas pessimism is nothing but evil, and therefore it is disdain. Negative words, negative attitudes, being pessimistic. The glass is always half empty, is disdained. We were reminded last week. We were reminded last week the words of Allah as narrated by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I am as my servant expects me to be. Your attitude is everything. Your attitude helps determine outcome. Positive attitude strengthens resolve and drive. It brings happiness to the heart and comfort to the soul. It helps us develop a positive attitude and opinion of Allah. And when we are confident that Allah will deliver us, we will be delivered. When we are confident that Allah will bless us, we will find ourselves blessed. On the other hand, negative words, they are toxic, they are poisonous, they are destructive. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, if you hear someone say, the people are ruined, if you hear someone say, the people are destroyed, no good. Know that he is more ruined, that he is worse off. He says, فَهُوَ أَهْلَكُهُمْ Some of the scholars of Hadith, they said, we're not sure if he said, أَهْلَكُهُمْ or أَهْلَكَهُمْ Either he's more destroyed or he is the one that destroyed them by spreading negativity. Think about, the ne think about that the next time you're in conversation with someone. Are you pumping them up with positive words to support a positive attitude or are you bashing them, undermining them, destroying their hopes and dreams with your negativity? These negative words, they plant the seeds of doubt and pessimism, setting you up for failure before you even get started. Before you even get started, you have already failed. The Arab, they have a little poem. It says, Ayyuhad al shaki wa ma bika da'a. Ayyuhad al shaki wa ma bika da'un. Kayfa tagdu idha gadawta alila. إن شر الجنات في الأرض نفس تتوخى قبل الرحيل الرحيلة وترى شوك في الورود وتعمى أن ترى فوقها الندى إكليلة والذي نفسه بغير جمال لا يرى في الحياة شيئا جميلا Oh you squawker and your disease What will come of you already sick? Blinded from their crowning dew, you only see the thorns that prick. An evil culprit, most impure, before getting started, you're ready to leave. The one who himself has no allure, the world's beauty 
he cannot conceive. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. بسم الله والحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا في كما يحب ربنا ويرضاه ونصلي ونسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإسان إلى يوم الدين Brothers and sisters to be your best you A positive attitude is at the top of the must have tools list a positive attitude is at the top of must-haves if you want to be your best. If you're not striving to be your best, you can be a negative Nelly all day long. It'll get you nowhere. As people of faith, to maintain a positive attitude, it's important to remember that it's all good. You make this your mantra. It's all good. We hear the young people saying that. It's all good for our elders with us today. It's all good. That's true. As a person of faith, it is all good. The Prophet ﷺ, he taught us this before it became popular. How wonderful is the case of the believer, he said. Ajaban li amril mu'min. Inna amrahu kullahu khayr. Everything about them is good. It's khayr. Everything. And this is only for the believer. The people that reject God, turn away from scripture, deny faith, they do not enjoy such a benefit that everything is good. The Prophet ﷺ, he says, if prosperity attends him during good times, he expresses gratitude to Allah. He's thankful and his prosperity is good. It is good. And in times of difficulty, when adversity befalls him, he endures it patiently. He finds opportunity to be patient with the decree of Allah. And the adversity is good because they will grow through that trial. They will grow through those failures and those difficulties and they will come out better and stronger as people and as believers with the right attitude that is. With the wrong attitude, both prosperity and adversity can be bad for you. It's the attitude of the believer is what distinguishes the two, good versus evil. Also, the last point, the takeaway action item. First, remembering that it's all good. Number two is the concept of wow. W O W. Wow. Meaning, watch our words. Words are powerful. Words are powerful. And when they're released, guess what? They're not coming back. Words have an impact. They have an impact on you, the one that says them, whether it's internally, an internal dialogue that you continue to have with yourself, or... The words that you let out of your mouth directed towards others, they have an impact. And so the Prophet ﷺ, he said explicitly, Oh, you, he says, whoever believes in Allah on the last day, then let them say good words, or quiet. Keep it to yourself. Those inner demons that you're struggling with, don't let them out to become demons of others. The negativity that you're battling, 
Don't make it the burden of your loved ones with your complaining and your whining and your constant negativity. Because it'll only continue to get worse. You're only digging yourself deeper and deeper into a hole, but you must struggle. You must exert yourself to watching what it is that you say. A good exercise would be to keep a count. This is practical. Try and keep a log, a daily log. How many negative things have I said today? The moment I woke up till the moment I went to sleep. Negative words. When did I say them? And why did I say them? And you can begin to curb yourself from these negative words and to begin, a, to, begin to build a more positive attitude to be your best you. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue to bless us in this life and to grant us success in the next, to bless our families and our children, to guide them to that which he loves and is pleased with, to cure those of us that are ill, and to relieve us of our burdens. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa akhru da'wana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa aqimis salah.